This video is going to be on the finite differences method, which is a way of determining the degree of a polynomial. Sorry about that. Um, it's a way of de determining the degree of a polynomial when you are given a table of x and y values. So let's say that we are given this table here with the x and y values that are listed. Um, we only actually care about the y values. So that's all we're going to worry about for this method is just the y values. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do subtraction. Now you could start and do 1 minus 8, but that would give us a negative 7. So instead of starting at the top, I'm going to actually do 125 minus 64, which gives us 61. And then we do the 64 minus 27, which gives us 37. And then we do 27 minus 8, which gives us 19, and 8 minus 1, which gives us 7. So that's the process that we're going to do, and we're going to keep doing this process until we get all these numbers here that we got as our answer, until all of those are the same. So in this case, they were not the same. So we would continue on. So we would do 61 minus 37, which gives us 24. And then we would do 37 minus 19, which gives us 18. And then we would do 19 minus 7, which gives us 12. And again, these aren't all the same numbers, so we have to subtract again. So we would do 24 minus 18, which is 6. And then 18 minus 12, which is also 6. These are both the same. So we've stopped. We don't have to go on any further. Uh, and then what we do is we count the number of times we subtracted. So here we subtracted once. This was the second time. And this was the third time. Since this is the third time, this polynomial has a degree of 3. And here's another table for us to worry with, uh, work with. Um, and again, we're only going to worry about the y values. We don't need to worry about the x values. And in this case, it doesn't look like it's going to matter if we start at top or bottom, because um, 6 minus 2 is going to give us a positive 4, and 12 minus 6 is going to give us a positive 6. Um, so either way we go, it looks like we're going to end up with some positives and some negatives in this one. So I'm just going to start at the top and do 6 minus 2 is 4, 2 minus 0 is 2, 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 2 is negative 2, and 2 minus 6 is negative 4, 6 minus negative, or 6 minus 12 is negative 6. These aren't all the same numbers, so we continue on and do another subtraction problem. So 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 minus 0 is 2, 0 minus negative 2 becomes 0 plus 2, which is 2, and negative 2 minus negative 4 again would be negative 2 plus 4. Uh, which would give us 2, negative 4 minus negative 6 becomes negative 4 plus 6, which would give us 2. These are all the same, so we count the number of times we had to subtract, which is 1, 2 times. So because of that, um, since it took us 2 times to get there, we have a degree of 2. Alright. And that's the finite differences method.